So well, I'm sure you're wondering what am I doing standing in front of you blindfolded. And I want to invite you all to live an experience I had six years ago. So I'm going to ask you if you can blindfold yourself. I've been looking at and what I'm really focused is in people valuing the persons from what they do have and not from what they don't. I'll give you a short story and while you listen to it, if you can make a drawing of it. Photography for the blind, how does that work? And I think people try to be very politically correct, but deep down they're really questioning. Six years ago, I went to the sea with Alejandra, my friend. Alejandra turned around and said to me, how would you describe the sea? Photography for the blind is not such an, uh, an absurd or crazy idea because if we focus in the process of creating an image, it's not just visual. Even though they can't see the final result, they can feel the process, they perceive. And by perceiving, we need all the senses. So she said, well, I can feel the breeze, I can listen to the sound of the waves, and it gives me a lot of peace. Alejandra, who, by the way, is blind from birth, she showed me another way of seeing the sea. The purpose of, of blind people taking photos is a way to be seen and heard. It's a way to have a place in, in a world that is surrounded by images. This photo was taken by Alejandra. A woman who's blind from birth wanted to show her own perception of the sea. That day Alejandra, through her camera, set an example of how if we focus in what we do have and we start dropping labels, we can achieve a lot of things. There's no impossibles and there's um, always a way to get somewhere. You know? And by blind people doing something that sounded impossible, like taking photos, it just shows you that if you see further than I can see, that you can achieve things.